expect? <laughs> Real warm, huh? Boy, that's amazing. You were expecting maybe paper mache? Yeah, illusion. You know, this is magic land. No, 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 listen, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here, but how are you going to shrink me down and get me in those little boxes? We'll cut you down to size. Now, look, uh, Tom is very interested, so we can sign the contracts today, unless you have had second thoughts since last night. Yes, I have. But only one that I dare voice aloud. Will you have lunch with me? First things first, let's get down to business. Before lunch? Oh, you mean this business! <laughs> no, 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 by all means. But, but please, consider my invitation. I mean, this may be your last opportunity to have me all to yourself. Once I'm in living color, who knows what hordes of infatuated viewers will dog my every step. Let's get you on that screen as soon as possible, shall we? Mindy has uh, arranged some studio time for you this afternoon, so you can have a dry run, get used to the cameras, mm -hmm. and uh, see your face on TV. My face. Peering into those thousands of living rooms, kitchens, bedrooms. Well, are you taking any of this seriously? I most seriously am. No, no, seriously. I am. Seriously. Lee. I do appreciate this opportunity. Behind this flippant posture, you will find a hardworking, ambitious, and, dare I say it, possibly brilliant reporter. I will do you my best. I promise. You will find me to be a very good newscaster. Very good is not good enough. I want you to be the best newscaster on the air ever. <laughs> Sweetheart, sweetheart, what do you got there? A present for you. Happy Father's Day. Oh, my. <laughs> well, that's a, well, that's a pencil holder. Huh? Oh, honey, thank you. Oh, goodness. I made it from a tomato paste can. Oh, that's not my favorite tomato paste can, gotcha. <laughs> Lovely paper on it, John. Yeah. Very clever. Look it. Brand new pencil. Ah, that's what I call practical and beautiful. Are you surprised? Mm-hmm. I am surprised and I am delighted. What is your other surprise? The one we got you. Can I see it? Was it nice? Mm -hmm. Well, it was, um, very surprising. No. You see, Lee's surprise was it was it was awfully big. And, and it, it was too big for me and it didn't fit. Couldn't she get it smaller? Only came on one size. Was Lee upset? Mm -hmm. well, me too. Well she'll feel better when she comes because I need her a mouth pencil holder. <laughs> Honey, may not see me for a long, a long while. I can't really give you privacy, but I can give you safety. Okay, safety. Sit down. so royally, I would want to know why, too. Would you quit the hospital? Would you stop your surgery? Would you spend nights running around the streets of New York City? Me? No. I'd think of some le a physically less taxing way to retaliate. Poison, perhaps. Well, I am going to spend my time on this election. That's what I'm going to do. Excuse me, huh? Oh, hi. Uh -huh. Hi. Have you um, uh -huh. met my brother? No. Uh, Doug Waterman, how are you doing? Right. I, uh, 
I hate to cut into a family visit, but... No, I was just on my way. No, no, wait, wait, wait. What? Uh, several well-known organizations request your presence tonight. Uh, the Westside Professional Women's League, mm -hmm. the Association of Retired Office Workers, and the Urban Forensic Society. They are hosting a debate on nuclear waste control. Oh, that one's terrific! That's a hot one, really. I just read this fascinating article on it. Okay. Say yes to all of them, all right? Okay. Just give me some time to uh, shower and change my clothes. You got it. Great. Oh, Doug. Yeah. Uh, save some time for a bite to eat. And join me if you can. Great. Uh, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Now. Who he? Who he? Who he? <laughs> uh, officially public relations. Publicity. Unofficially my um, sanity control. You know, I'd hate to see you go into overdrive. I know what my limitations are. And besides, I love this campaign. I don't care how many hours it takes, I don't care how hard they work. Because the satisfaction is tremendous. The only thing is, it'd be a lot better if Frank was here. But, I gotta let him do his thing. And I gotta do mine. Come on, I'll walk you out. I never understood as a child the pain he had. No self-pity, no complaints, never a word about his fears, but a charity gift. And just when I thought he'd found a safe place in the world, we found him again, tormenting him. It's not fair. He's a good, kind, honorable man. And all I want is some peace. Some peace for him. In the little time he's got left. Mm -hmm.